What has the, happened in this tragedy in Parkland is igniting something out there in the country. Is anything the federal government can do to act as a clearinghouse for best practices, a funding source for the implementation of those practices, those are all things we're going to leave here today and, and try to achieve. During the four-hour roundtable, participants shared ideas about how to better respond to attacks, identifying signs of threats before they happen, and hardening schools. After this happened, I was just infuriated because Alex would still be here if we would have had bulletproof glass windows in his classroom doors. Max Schachter's 14-year-old son, Alex, was one of the first students to be killed during the Parkland shooting. He says he's turning his grief into action, pushing for the creation of a commission that will identify state-of-the-art school safety guidelines that can be implemented nationwide, which he thinks will make them more affordable. To create best practices, standards, minimum standards for schools to create and make them safe. Then we'll have vendors coming to us that'll push the price down and we'll be able to afford this for all schools and make all schools safe. There was not a lot of discussion at this forum here about stricter gun laws. Parents and advocates I spoke with say, of course, this is something they want, but school safety initiatives are a more tangible approach. When we bring in the whole gun aspect of it, it becomes very polarizing and everybody takes sides. But school safety, we could all agree to come together and to make our school safe. Lori Oladef's daughter Alyssa was also killed in the Parkland High School shooting. Oladef and other parents here acknowledge that Congress recently passed legislation that allocates $1.2 billion in resources towards improving school security and putting preventative measures in place like tip lines and metal detectors, but they want more. Our schools are still unsafe and we're trying to keep the message going and we're just trying to keep having a voice. This is my life mission, so I'm not going to stop until this is done. In Washington, Samantha Giroth, Spectrum News.